What's going on guys? So yesterday Netflix blessed us with pictures from their live action adaptation of Cowboy Bebop and it was received with mixed to okay confused reviews and emotions because let's face it, a lot of us are concerned because Netflix has a thing for ruining live action adaptations of anime or manga, you know, like Death Note, you know, so we're worried. We want this to work but we're not going to be hopeful, you know, which kind of sucks because they have the money and the fun to make this a great show. We just know that they probably won't give us a good show. Am I right? So anyway, the biggest thing <laughs> people are, and such as myself, are not a fan of is the Netflix adaptation of Faye Valentine. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, it's impossible to do stunts in scanty or sexual clothing. Okay. It doesn't have to be exactly like what it is from the anime or manga. But it could be something like it was comfortable enough for her to be sexual and sexy and dress scanty. Because she's a con artist. If you're a fan of the show and the manga, you know she's a con artist. And part of her con is using her sexuality her sexiness to con men into, you know, giving her their money, their jewels, and other stuff. You know, that is part of the con. Looking at this version of Faye, listen, I, I, if, if you walked up to me on the street, I'd be like, she looks cool. I'm like, sure. Sexy? Not so much. No, no, no. I, I don't get the sexy vibe from this. And a lot of people on the Twitter, surprisingly, are not a fan. Surprisingly enough, Twitter is not even with this either. I thought they'd be praising the, you know, it looks great, you know, screw the male gaze. But surprisingly, they are not with this outfit. Because surprisingly, I guess, they are actual fans of Cowboy Bebop. Now, instead of them giving us this, this is what we want. Something like this. The original anime, yes, she looks, does look sexy and whatever the case is. But I'm not saying it should be something like this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I'm not saying it should be exactly like this, but they could have worked something out to be something similar to this because the sex appeal is part of her con. Now, before you go in the comment section and be like, oh, it's impossible for her to work in these attire. It's not even right. It's not fair. You're not being realistic. I know that. That is why I said the outfit doesn't have to be exactly like what you see on the screen. However, it could have been something similar where it matches what's going on in the show or in the books, you know, where it pleases the fans and it makes sense for her to use her sex appeal to con men. It can be similar. It doesn't have to be exact same thing. That's why we don't like, um, whatever the crap they're giving us. Now, if you're saying, oh, it's impossible for her, for Hollywood or Netflix to make that exact attire. Bull crap. Bullshit. We know cosplayers who do a better job at making Faye Valentine cosplays and outfits. You, I don't even have to post it because I don't think they might be happy me posting their outfits up their permission. However, if you, a simple Google search and a simple Twitter search, you can see the numerous cosplays of her done by people with obviously a less, I'm sorry, much less budget, <laughs> you know, and they made it work, you know, and they made it comfortable for them to wear for an entire convention. These, these chicks are wearing this cosplay for hours at conventions and these, in these hot ass um, convention rooms and convention sites. If you're going like to some of these states where it's just hot all the time, you're wearing this outfit all day in cosplay, you know, like if they could do it, or they can make something similar to the outfit, Netflix has zero excuse. Now I got some tweets that are really spicy that, that to prove to you guys that not even Twitter is in support of whatever this nonsense is. And here's the first one. And uh, I think so far this is by far the best one. Netflix took Faye and made her look like that. <laughs> The hair is awful, she's way too covered up, and the colors aren't even <laughs> close to being right. If they made her stocking the light pink, made her clothing the right colors, it would be way better. 
literal CW designs here. And it is absolute facts. It looks like some crap from the CW. It's like everyone's going the Riverdale route or the, or the new Charmed route. And God, I hate those shows. <laughs> Bad. This tweet is absolutely correct. And you know what? There's more. I got you. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better, man. Cosplay is so much more accurate and they don't even have this kind of budget. See? <laughs> Fucked my life. You see? <laughs> this is exactly what I just said. Cosplayers don't even remotely have the budget like Netflix does. And look at the screen. Look at the amazing detail in the cosplay. Amazingly done. It says, um... I'll say um, Faye's outfit needed to be reworked because as nice as the cosplay looks, it's not possible to wear that run, do stunts, everything the actress needs to do. Not that I like what they ultimately went with, but the original is impractical. Like I said before, I agree that, yes, the, the exact outfit may be a little hard to do stunts in because Faye does a lot of flips and running and dodging of bullets and stuff like that. That's why I say if they had made something very similar to what the outfit is, we could have worked with that. But they went and made something entirely different, and now we're just like, oh, okay, what, what is this? Fans are just like, this is not the Faye we grew up with, or, you know, the Faye that's supposed to be in the show. Oh, the best one. <laughs> All to defeat the male gaze. <laughs> exactly like it said. It seems as though that was the whole point. Like, man, you can't have these people sexual. Meanwhile, I bet you, I, I bet you money that if Japan had made this, if they, their, if their studios had made this show, they would have went very similar to how she looked in the anime. They don't care about the male gaze. Cause listen, let's be, let's be real, guys. Everyone likes to see attractive people on their screens. Everyone. No matter what you support, no matter what you uh, what you stand for, what your political agenda is, or whatever crap it is, everyone likes seeing attractive people on their screen. That's a fact. Sex appeal sells. Facts. That's all there is to it. Japan would have made this a whole lot better. Oh, God. What do y'all think? Do you guys like this? Are you guys a fan of the new Faye Valentine? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's discuss this. I am curious to see who <laughs> really likes this new Faye. And not only just say, I like it. Let me know what you like about it. If you guys think this is a more practical look. Okay, okay, guys. Last one, last one. It's not even a good cosplay regarding Faye. She looks like a random woman. Like I said, totally true. Yep. Some would probably say it's easier to do stunts in these clothes. Plus, her wardrobe could change in most episodes. Like I said before, something similar would be great. And also, I did say that as well, that maybe it's just, just like one episode. Maybe they actually do change her clothes during the show. I literally can't even imagine how that's going to look. 70% of the time, they're not even on, the, on dry land. That's also true. As you can see, most of Twitter looks like don't agree with Faye's outfit. And neither do I. And if this is what they're going to go with most of the show, whew. well, let's hope that this plot is good. If the plot's good, I guess people are willing to overlook the crappy Faye Valentine costume. The plot's got to be good. Just, uh, everything else, the action has got to be good. Just, uh, the effects has, have to be good as well. The music has to be on point <laughs> because... People are not going to forget this Faye Valentine. What do you guys think about this episode? What do you guys think about Faye Valentine? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's discuss this. Um, subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get to 100 before October. I think I'm a 40-something subscriber. YouTube keeps messing with my numbers. Subscribe to the channel. Support the channel. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm going to continue going playing uh, Hades because... The game's just that addicting. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.